good morning students so today we will study about bessel equation an equation of the form x square into d square y by dx square plus x into d y by dx plus x square minus n square times y equal 0 is called bessel differential equation where n is a non negative real constant so bessel equation is nothing but a second order differential equation Okay, now we are going to find the solution of Bessel differential equation. In order to find the solution of Bessel differential equation, cons first consider the, what is Bessel equation. Consider the given equation. So, Bessel equation. Okay, next we employ Frobenius method to solve this equation. So, we have coefficient of y double dash. So, call this as x square which is equal to P0 of x. Same means we are going to consider and P0 of x equal 0 at x equal 0. So when x equal 0, it is nothing but P0 of x is nothing but 0. So we assume the series solution of 1 is of the form. It means now we are going to find the solution of this equation and the series, the, the solution is of the form summation AR x power k plus r. So this is by Frobenius method. So, in order to solve this equation, so we are going to apply Frobenius method. So, the equation is y equals summation r where from 0 to infinity a r x power k plus r. So, call this as equation 2. So, what you want? You want second derivative and first derivative. You want second derivative and first derivative. So, this is why what is first derivative? So, summation as it is, a r as it is. What is the differentiation of x power n? It is of the form x power n. What is the differentiation of x power n? n x n minus 1. So, k plus r x power k plus r minus 1. And what is second derivative? So, again a r as it is, k plus r as it is. Again, k plus r minus 1 x into k plus r minus 2. So, what is the differentiation of x power n? x, x power n is n x n minus 1. So, like this we had it. So, what are you going to do? So, now substituting all these values in equation 1. So, because first consider y, find y dash and y double dash. So, substituting all these values. So, x square as it is. So, second derivative plus x as it is. First derivative plus x square minus n square times y. y means the given equation equals 0. So, what I did? I substituted all these equations in equation 1. Next, next multiply. So, when you are multiplying x square, so this as it is, x power k plus r minus 2 into x square. This minus 2 and plus 2 will get cancelled and only remaining is x power k plus r. Similarly, x multiplying, this as it is, x power k plus r minus 1, multiply with x and minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled, only k plus r. And this, x square into this. So, when you are multiplying, so x power k plus r into x square, which is nothing but x power k plus r plus 2, minus as it is, n square as it is, so this as it is, a r into x power k plus r. So, what I did, I just multiplied x and x square to the equation. So, collecting first, second and fourth terms together, we have first, second and fourth means first, second and fourth. So, this as it is, collecting first, second and fourth first, second and fourth terms. So, from all these three equations, taking a r into x power k plus r as common from first, second and fourth, write what is remaining. So, x plus r into k plus r minus 1 plus k plus r minus x square. So, taking all this command and write third term as it is. What is the term term? So, I am not taking a third term. So, I am just writing third term as it is. So, third term as it is. Again, what I am going to do? So, taking k, so observe with this k plus r into k plus r minus 1 plus k plus r minus n square. Again, if you consider only these two equations, take k plus r as common. So, now write what is remaining k plus r minus 1 plus 1. Again, minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled. Only remaining is k plus r. So, k plus r into k plus r which is nothing but k plus r whole square. So, what I did? I did k plus r, k plus r as common. Now write k plus r minus 1 plus 1. Again minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled. k plus r into k plus r is k plus r whole square minus n square as it is and this term as it is. Now what I am going to do? We shall equate the coefficient of lowest degree term in x. That is x power k to 0. So what we are going to do? We are equating lowest degree term is 0. Because the lowest degree term is x power k. Because x power k plus 0 is the lowest degree term. Next term is x power k plus 1 when you substitute r equals 1. When you substitute r equals 2, x power k plus 2. It means the values are increasing. So what is the lowest term? Which is nothing but x power k. So you are equating that to 0 which is nothing but a naught into k square minus n square equals to 0. a naught coefficient of this. So a naught into k square minus n square equal to 0. Since I am setting the constant a naught is not equal to 0. This is nothing but k square minus n square equal to 0. This is nothing but k square equals n square. And what is what is meant by k? So k equals plus or minus n. 
next what is the next step we need to independently equate the coefficient of x power k plus 1 to 0 here it is k x power k plus 0 now we are going to equate x power k plus 1 so what is the um, coefficient of x power k plus 1 so when you substitute r equals 1 which is nothing but a1 so it is nothing but r you have to just substitute r equals 1 a1 into k plus 1 whole square minus n square so x power k plus 1 means a1 into k plus 1 whole square minus n square a1 into k plus 1 whole square minus n square this is equal to 0 so this is equal to means either this quantity is equal to 0 or this quantity is equal to 0 since this quantity is not equal to 0 why suppose this quantity is equal to 0 which is nothing but k plus equals n which is not possible because already we proved k equals plus or minus 1 so here what we got k plus 1 equals plus or minus 1 which is not possible so this quantity is not equal to 0 which is nothing but this quantity is not equal to 0 means obviously a1 should equal to 0 so what you approved here a0 is not equal to 0 and a1 is equal again equating the coefficient of x power k plus r so what i did so i did only for k plus 1 so do the same procedure for k plus 2 k plus 3 k plus 4 k plus 5 as it is so in general i am writing x power k plus r where r r greater than or equal to 2 which is nothing but k plus 2 k plus 3 k plus 4 and everything equating the coefficient of all these terms to 0 so what is the general form a r into k plus r whole square minus n square plus a a r times n minus 2 equal to 0 so you what do you how do you get a r a r means so this will go rhs so minus of a r minus 2 and this will come outside so this is the formula for a r where r is greater than or equal to 2 2 so a r is nothing but so this i am sending as it is r to r h s and this i am sending to denominator so minus a r times r minus 2 k plus r all square minus n square so this is the formula for a r where r is greater than r equal to 2 and call this as equation 3 now as you already put we have put k equals plus or minus n so first i will consider when x equals when k, uh, k equals plus n so when a k equals plus n what is equation 3 becomes k equals plus n so which is k equals plus n so what is equation 3 becomes a r equals minus a r times 2 k equals n n plus r whole square minus n square again it is of the form a plus b whole square so a square plus b square plus 2 ab this n square and this n square will get cancelled remaining is 2 n r plus r square and substituting putting r equals 2 3 4 because the all these are greater than r is greater than r equal to 2 so what you have to you have to put r equals 2 3 4 like this we have to go on when you substitute r equals to 2 a2 equals minus a naught divided by 4 times n plus 1 and what is a3 minus 3 minus 2 minus a1 divided by 6 n plus 9 but, but since we already put a1 is 0 so this quantity is completely 0 since a1 is 0 so it is 0 by anything which is 0 so a3 is 0 so we have proved a1 is 0 a3 is 0 similarly if you uh, do go, going like this you will get a5 is also 0 and a7 is also 0 so what you are going to observe you are going to observe odd expansions of a is equal to 0 so you understood how do you got this so when you when you want a3 so just substitute 3 which is nothing but 3 minus 2 which is nothing but minus a1 divided by uh, substituting r equals 3 so n plus 3 whole square minus n square so simplify you will get 6n plus 9 since a1 is 0 so 0 by anything is 0 so a3 is 0 so in general what you can tell odd expansions of a is equal to 0 and what about even expansions even expansion is not 0 because a2 is not equal to 0 similarly what is a4 a4 is nothing but minus a2 divided by 4 n plus 4 whole square minus n square which is nothing but 8n plus 16 so minus a2 divided by 8 is common n plus 2 but what is a2 a2 is nothing but minus a naught divided by 4 n plus 1 so altogether this is nothing but a naught divided by 32 into n plus 1 into n plus 2 and so on so till now what we have proved so we have proved all odd expansions of a is equal to 0 and even expansions of a is not equal to 0 so uh, i will continue this derivation in my next video